Okay, so today will be kind of a quick one because I have a lot of things going on this week, um, but I still wanted to make sure I got some information out there. Um, so what I wanted to talk about today was just how to warp and stretch audio fairly efficiently in Reaper because I'm coming from Ableton where we're, everybody is spoiled and it's really easy to just to just mash up audio really quickly. You just kind of grab it and go. Reaper, you can do a lot of <clears throat> a lot of the similar kinds of things, but um, I didn't find it as intuitive. I had to dig a little bit more for the features I needed. But anyway, um, so let's just start with this clip. I have many of these hi-hat clips to stretch. Turn the metronome off real quick. So I want to warp that. Um, here are a couple things I would use in the basic process I would go about. So first, I'm going to hit Shift-C. <clears throat> I'm going to put in 158 to just stretch... Uh, or put in a, a tempo change right here so we can get this in about the range I wanted to do. put the metronome back on for a sec so that's that's pretty close to what I want it to be it just gets a little bit off at the end so um, a couple things that are helpful to know is uh, on the Mac, um, you can hit Option. I believe this would be Alt on Windows, but I don't really use Windows, so I don't know for sure. Um, but yeah, so if you hit um, Option or um, probably Alt on Windows, you see how if the mouse is over the end of the clip, it turns into this little like fists thing. You can use that to stretch the whole clip back and forth to length. I'm not really gonna mess with that just because, um, because, uh, yeah, I, I, it's it's close enough as it is. I just want to move like individual things around. Um, so then the, the process I would recommend. Um, oh, also, if um, if you put this tempo in and it stretches out the whole clip, you might have to click on the item. All right. If uh, let's see, it's function two on the Mac here. Um, you might have to go into here where it says item time base. Right now it says track default and project time base. Um, so uh, I changed the default, but what Reaper usually will default to is position, length, and rate, which if you put in a tempo change, it'll stretch clips to match that. In this case, I don't want that. I want to just manipulate freely. So I would just change either in the item or in the project default to beats and then position only. And then you would just hit apply, but I've already done that, so we're good. Um, but anyway... As far as actually stretching this clip, if we don't want to use this trick where we stretch the whole thing, um, what I'm going to do is hit D. Um, you can also get to this menu uh, if you right click and then you go to item processing and then it's going to be dynamic split items. Um, normally I would use this to split in the individual clips, but we can actually use this a bunch of different ways. Um, in this menu down here, uh, go into action to perform, right? Um, and go to add transient guide markers to selected items. Um, you see how it puts in some of these lines here um, where it's seeing transients. If you want a monkey with um, where it detects a transient or the threshold, you can come in here and, and just just adjust that. Um, but I'm not really gonna, gonna do that so much. Ooh, I just hit undo by accident. Um, so let me just pull this threshold down a little bit more. Yeah, okay. And then get out of that and hit generate guides. And then what it's going to do is it will put in these little green things, um, which I guess are the transient guides. But if you click on them and grab them, they turn into stretch markers, which is very handy. Um, so at this point, what I would normally do is put the metronome on, make sure this is lined up. Um, I, right now I have the grid toggle set to option S. And again, this is Reaper, so you can change any of these key commands to whatever you want. Um, this is just how I have it set up and some of the defaults. Um, but I'm going to put the grid on. So some of these are a little off. I might go and just put a marker here to hold this in place while I go fix this stuff. Um, like this, I think I'm going to want to put on the beat. Um, but it's nice because you can just click on... Um, on each of these little transient markers and it'll turn into a stretch marker where you can then stretch. The other thing to remember is when you click on one and make a stretch marker, there's like this up and down kind of icon that appears or this like side to side one. The up and down one 
right? You see how it's going to make space and, and shove over everything after it, right? Whereas the, the side to side one doesn't do that. Then it's going to have the ends, like the last stretch markers kind of pinned and then things are moving in between that. So that's just, a, uh, it, it took me embarrassingly long to figure that out, but that's a good distinction to make. Um, so then I'll just go in here and move these to grid markers where I want, and some of them I won't, like, um, you know, something like this, I might, uh, let me just show you. Um, I might not actually fix this because sometimes it, it feels better when it's a little off the grid, but um, I would just turn snapping off, put the cursor right at the front of the transient, and I hit Shift W, that's my create stretch marker shortcut. I believe that one is stock with Reaper, but, um, and then yeah, I'll just move it over or if you want to snap, you could turn snapping back on. Um, but that's basically it. Like these need some cleanup in here. Let me just pull those guys over. Um, this one, let's put that on the beats. Yeah, and then let me just see how this sounds. Yeah, so some of these I do want to fix actually. Um, so I'm just gonna come in here to turn snapping off and just kind of eyeball this you know um, like here I need to make a marker so I'm gonna shit hit shift W same thing here let's just move these guys around uh, that one will leave this one oh, looks like I gotta slide this back anyway but you just you just shift things around until it feels good let me just go back and listen here. At the end of that, I'll probably cut off anyway. There's some stick noise and stuff I don't really like, but let's hit, hear the whole thing. And I'm actually going to um, let me hit set selection to items. I'm going to turn the looping on. And maybe put the selection. Let me see if, what happens if we make the loop point like um, we put it like, ooh, yikes. Put this back. That would be the start of my loop, and then the end, let's try here. Cool, so I think I'm just going to um, I'm gonna cut this off here. But anyway, that's, um, that's a quick guide and demo as far as how you can stretch audio to time pretty quickly in Reaper, especially if you're coming from Ableton and some of the more familiar tools aren't aren't quite where uh, you think they would be or it just it does it a different way there's pros and cons to both approaches but anyway um yeah hopefully that was helpful like and subscribe in the the youtube thing if you're there um if you're watching it on patreon thank you i appreciate your support um and then later this week whenever i'm done cutting the many samples i have of these these will be up for sale on glitchmagic.com and available for free to patreon people so thank you very much and peace out until the next one